Okay, so back to the sculpture. Um, it looks like I'm just using the wax pen and uh, sculpting the elbow. I kind of wanted, I wanted to to uh, bring up something that uh, I was been meaning to bring up earlier um, and for anybody who's who's uh, watching my videos um, feel free to make a comment um, such as adding su suggestions uh, sharing your knowledge about sculpture model making um anything um i like to i mean if you if anybody has any any questions um feel free to ask me and i'll try to answer them the best as the best best as i can in the comments section nobody has set, uh sent um, I haven't. Uh, well, I'm I'm freshly, I'm barely started, so um, I don't expect people commenting right away. Uh, I I didn't know what to expect, uh, actually. Um, so you know, I I see a lot of other popular YouTube channels, and they have hundreds and hundreds of uh, comments um, actually I'm kind of it's kind of intimidating because people people seem to blurt out any anything anything that's on their minds and uh, I know that that a lot of people try to be you know they try to be comedians by you know cutting other people down um, it's uh, you know that that part has been kind of intimidating to me and preventing me from uh, you know I've been thinking about creating my own YouTube channel for a, a while and that's uh, been kind of uh, putting me off um, not really wanting to do it, but um, I see I see other YouTubers uh, disabling their comments or restricting their comments somehow. I don't know exactly how to do that, uh, but you know it's hard to ignore when somebody says something rude in the comment section and not be trying try not to be affected by it and you know I'm I mean if you knew if you knew me I'm pretty I'm pretty sensitive guy you know so I take things kinda hard when you know when people mouth off out mouth off to me um, but uh, you know, I think that some um, when I see some YouTubers disabling their comments, uh, I think that I think that it's uh, it takes away from the whole YouTube experience because I like watching videos on YouTube and uh, and. Uh, one of the things that I like doing is reading reading the comment section I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that most people do after doing viewing uh, videos that they that they like to watch and it's uh, it's it's like it's that interaction with the youtuber and the, the audience they get to be a part of 
of uh, the experience and they get more out of more content there's more content to take to take in to take from it YouTube is what's so, so great about YouTube is that it's free it's free to to view and uh, it's free content and then and then you just get that extra extra value from it by uh, looking at the comments and people uh, giving their uh, giving their intelligent respectful um, uh, thoughts into 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 it so you know that's what makes the makes the comment section so um in one in some in one some ways great in other in other ways it's not so great um so i i encourage everybody to um you know if you have something relevant to say something you know something um uh, that people can uh be people, other people that, including myself, find useful. Then feel free to to add something to it. Um, let's see. Uh, I know I planned on making music or finishing this tutorial with nothing but music but uh i've only created two songs and uh song making for me takes a whole lot of time um it took me a long time to to put those songs together um you kind of it's it kind of you kind of rough out the it's it's to, to me it's just patterns you Placing a bunch of different sound patterns together, uh, and then if it sounds interesting, I f if I find it interesting, I'll uh, work with it and then uh, see see what other variation of the sound I can put into it. Um, the first song was I actually named these songs. Those those songs were well, the first one is called uh Frankenstein es escape and the reason why I called it Frankenstein escape is because it seems like um I was after I made it after I created it uh after listening to it it's kind of had that um Frankenstein type of uh um type of at atmosphere uh, to the sound, and then it was it's like quiet and calm in the beginning and then and then it get and then like the organ uh music t starts to play and it's like that old classic uh uh feel to it because of the organ music and it, and then like I was just imagining like uh Frank a frankenstein um frankenstein's monster uh being trapped and then finding a way to escape uh that's the kind of um um thing that i was imagining in my mind while uh listening to the song uh the next one the next song after that um i named it uh, my uk hottie <laughs> Um, I named it that because I was talking to one of my friends, and she happens to live in the UK. So I was just joking around, and and it sound it's a kind of a sexy, um, sexy sounding type of song. I thought like, you know, I was thinking like, you know, it, some beautiful exotic uh, dancer doing a little, you know, sexy dance. And I thought, I thought, huh, that sounds appropriate, I guess. But, uh, I might, 
I might have some songs made later in the future, but I don't know. Like, I want to work on more sculpture. Um, I want to finish sculpting these arms and continue uh, improving on this the idea of having detachable parts. Um, so far, I'm okay with the with how they're working, but you know, as as you can see earlier, they're you know it's they still the t the tolerance. I think I think that it's called changes because the wear and tear. Um, at, you know when you're handling the the wax and the, and the model the the wire inside just uh it digs and and um makes the the i guess the hole larger so uh i'm i'm going to improve on on this idea i have i have an idea and i'll uh record some more later on in uh other videos